back to Tea Time with Aloha and Coco guys. So we're here at Hollywood Studios and today we're going to be trying a restaurant that we've been uh, trying to get a reservation for for quite some time um, and it is the Roundup Rodeo. Now the last time we were here we had to cancel last minute but thankfully we snacked another one so we're going to be heading in that direction but first we have to get our much anticipated cold brew from Galaxy's Edge, we always do the double foam and it really gives it an incredible taste once you mix everything together. So let's get that and then we'll head on over to Toy Story Land. Let's go. Hey guys, you're never gonna believe it. We ran into one of our favorite channels ever, Ordinary Adventures. Hey! How are you guys doing? We're doing good. Yeah. We're I've got my fans out, got my hat. <laughs> this is like my Florida mode outfit, so yeah. Yeah, all, all three day. sons are out here in Batu today. <laughs> and what's your favorite part compared to California here in what is Star Wars Galaxy's Edge? They're very similar, but I think California has better food. And it's not as hot there. I, I like the colors here. The yeah. colors, like everything's like darker yeah. and feels like more Star Wars-y. Yeah. So, yeah. So the yeah. food, we have to go to California now, but we yeah. have to try so, it now. Yeah, because there's totally different food there. It's weird, like, that they're not the same. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, nice to see you. See you guys. So we just ran into Ordinary Adventures. I love them. I have been watching them for so many years. I think that their videos were extra special, especially during the pandemic when they started creating, you know, just really, really cool videos for those of us who had to stay home and we love Disney. So huge fan of theirs if you don't already follow you can check them out here on youtube i'll go ahead and tag them below ordinary adventures love their videos um so now that we got our coffee and we met them now we're gonna head on over I actually managed to get um like lightning lane for alien saucers we're gonna do that because we got about 30 minutes before our reservation so let's head on over to alien saucers and then head on over to our dining reservation at the roundup rodeo so we've made it to Toy Story Land. We came in through the back entrance, the one that is um, directly connected to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And now what we're going to do is we're going to actually have to head on over to our dining reservation because we're going to be late. So we're going to leave Alien Saucers for after. Hopefully we can get our lightning lane back and let's just head on over to the restaurant. All the characters are out today. We've spotted so many and a lot of like ones that you don't usually see i'm excited we saw max, we saw max. Who's max? max from a goofy movie no way yeah he was out here we are you guys roundup rodeo it's only been <laughs> since like march 23rd since we've been trying to get in here so cool it's right at the entrance where you see woody and the toy story land sign and then once you get in you start to see all of the decor and all of the cardboard cutouts. Thank you. So we are in. <laughs> Welcome rodeo fans. <laughs> oh how cool. So the kids get a little a little horse to ride to their table. So we're heading to our table. The girls got their little their little horsies to get to the table. Oh my god, how cute. This is so beautiful. Wow. So we're going to be seated at the Bo Peep section. Look at that, how cool. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, how cool. We got the round table right next to Bo Peep. Okay, guys, so this is the menu. And as you can see, there's a couple of items here that I want to get uh, through with you guys. This is a fixed, <laughs> this is a fixed 
uh, price menu. Um, we're going to start with some uh, cheddar biscuits and some sweet pepper jelly. And then you're going to get your greens. There's going to be some salad. You get all three to choose from. This is family style. So there's going to be a tomato salad, a kale and romaine salad, and a watermelon salad. Um, then we're going to jump on over to the actual platters. And all of the following are going to be in there. It's the smoked ribs, the beef brisket, um, sausage, and chicken. Then um, you have some plant-based items as well. I keep giving you Sania in the back. And then some sides. Um, we get to pick four sides from the ones in the menu. So I'm going to go take a look at that now. And then you have some desserts. You know that we got to get the little um, cupcake of fork, like the little forky cupcake. So yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. So, oh, and then you have some drinks too. I've heard great things about the peach iced tea, so I think I'm gonna pick that up. But you have some beverage choices. There's a grown-up PB and J. Oh, Magdale will probably want that. So there's a whole bunch of options for you to choose from. Okay, so let's see. So here are the sides. We're actually sitting in the round table right under Bo Peep. It's like the perfect table. It's so awesome. It's so cute. And then of course we have the surrounding table, um, the surrounding areas. It's as if though Andy created out of like cardboard boxes. How are you doing today? Hello, how are you? Oh, I'm good. Uh, soon, soon Andy will be coming. You gotta listen though, you got some cool stuff. So sorry, just gonna be helping out to their eyes in the sky as you got me. What's your birthday? No, it's almost On Monday, it's her almost birthday. birthday. Do you feel almost older? Mm -hmm. All right, what's your name? Go, go. We got a very special Boxing Day. Can I get a yee-haw? yee yeah. 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 <laughs> Happy Boxing Day. That's what we say here around these parts. Perfect. So the way it works, it's all you care to enjoy journey. So I'm going to start with our biscuits, our uh, signature styles right here, and our school house platter. <gasps> Where is it? I know I left it around here somewhere. So these are the plates that they have. They're supposed to mimic that of like paper plates at a barbecue, but they're ceramic. They're super pretty. I love it. And then they have different sauces for your barbecue, which means, and I think that it comes without anything so that you can add. And they have the sweet, classic, and spicy. I'm gonna try all three and tell you what I think, but at least you know you have some sauces. So guys, as we wait for the food to get here, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour. So the floor has almost like a bandana on it. Excuse me, I'm sorry. And then everything is like if it were cardboard boxes. Let me see, let me take you around. These tables right here, the back of the tables are rulers. That's a puzzle over on that side. And we're sitting over at that table over there. There's some cards against that wall. I just like how they put everything, like if it's a playroom, you have the little flags up top. And then you get two places to sit. You can either be in the Bo Peep room, which is where we are, or you have the Jesse room. This one is a lot brighter. I see more red lights over in our room. It's like um, blue lights. But you see Jesse right there. Thank you. And then you have like signs, a lot of coloring on the walls, which make it even more magical. It's just a bunch of cute little displays. I love that over on that side you have like milk cart, a milk carton that they cut open. You have a popcorn bag on that side. It's just really neat. A lot of, a lot of super cool things. So we already had one encounter with um, having to freeze thank you so much having to freeze so I can't wait to see it again but oh you see it's like a bandanas on the floor and up there there's a little train being held up by pencils and crayons which I think is so so cool 
So my peach tea is here. I'm gonna try it. It's like those actual teas where you have to add like the the sweetness to it. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna feel about it. Let's try it. It's nice. That's the hotel. I wanna go and I wanna see it. Hey. So nice. Yeah. It's actually really good. It's not bad. It's not like um peach tea. It tastes really good. It's really really good. I like it. I think that if you're looking for something light and you don't want to do like a soda and you want something more than water but you don't want it to be too strong like this is good I like it now we already placed an order for food we got our sides we got our drinks I can't wait to show you guys what we ended up picking up but I know that the one thing that they keep talking about is um, the biscuit and jelly dip combo um, every meal starts with it, but I've heard so many good things, so I want to see how I feel about it and then share with you guys. So the salad are the salads are here. We have the romaine and kale. We have the like the cucumber and tomato and the watermelon salad. I think I'm gonna try the romaine and kale. Um, I'm not a I'm not a fan of watermelon, so I'll try these two and let you know what I think. But they're very popular, so. Let's the romaine one because it's the only one that looks appetizing to me not a fan of watermelon bless you mm. so the girls got these pink lemonades with gummy worms inside they're gonna test taste and tell me what they think we got the biscuits they're cheddar biscuits with jelly looking so delicious the salads were very good my favorite one ended up being the one with the tomatoes and the cucumber it has a very nice like lemony zesty flavor to it this one was all right the romaine it was okay and i didn't try the watermelon but everybody else did did you guys like the watermelon salad was it good did it have any sort of sauce or anything on it no well these two are very good and now the jelly is really good so they're trying the biscuits now you have to try the drinks and tell me what you think though we'll get back to you let me try the biscuits with the jelly so the bread is really good came out very hot the jelly for the bread is really good too the, the peanut butter and jelly one is very good it's really good the girls the lemonade they did is just very sweet very very sweet but it is, it's it's like a cute drink for kids the peanut butter and jelly is very good <laughs> I see ribs, I see chicken, I see sausage, I see the whole nine in this dish, and we're all gonna try all of it. Very excited. We got some corn, some fried pickles, some mac and cheese um, on the sides, as sides, and um, they all look really, really good. So let's see, let's see. So something to share, you guys can continue to fill your food, your basket, you can continue to fill it. So once you're done, you can ask them to bring more. This is like those bottomless mimosa type things where once the food is gone, you can ask them to replenish and bring in more. Um, and also with the sides, you can continue to ask them to bring different ones. You just have to start off with four, but once they bring the four sides, you can tell them, you know what, I'd like to try that other side and they'll bring everything for you. Um, but just know that you're paying a fixed price, but you can continue to bring more food out. Um, if you're still hungry, so they're gonna bring more more of the meats out for us and more sides and here I have some brisket some ribs Some sausage and some mac and cheese now. They're gonna bring out more sides and more meat So just know that you can continue to ask for more So I just had the sausage and it is phenomenal. I'm gonna jump into the brisket. I did some of the um, the classic barbecue sauce. I'll try the spicy now, but the sausage was amazing. I really, really liked it. Try one bite. So let's jump into the brisket. Try one bite. The is good. Tiny bite. So the brisket is a little bit dry, but you have to add barbecue sauce to really give it like an extra kick. Otherwise, it's not very tasty. Isn't it good? Rather bland. But if you add the the barbecue sauce, it's really, really good. I just had a fried pickle. 
So good. It's a dance party. <laughs> Uh oh. Yeah, let's turn on the lights. So we got our own forky cupcake. So this is the cookie. And then there's a chocolate cupcake under. And then the little hands are like a like a Twizzler type string. Like a little string candy. That's what did you get? What is this? Chocolate pie pudding? Is it like a mousse? Sure. It's like a mousse with some like chocolate shavings in the top. Yep. Some whipped cream in the, all the way at the top and then like the mousse is towards the bottom. Yep. So we went with that and the cookie sporky cupcake. Let's try it. So guys, my personal and honest opinion, I really liked it. I've heard mixed reviews from different bloggers. I really liked it. Compared to other restaurants we've tried, um, such as... Um, the Space 220, I really, really like this one 10 times more. The food was much tastier. Like the whole, the whole vibe. I really, really love it. Huh? They did the whole shebang. It was a lot of fun. I really, really liked it. The food was very good. The drinks were very good. Um, I loved it. Guys, I loved it. I thought it was such a crazy, nice experience. Granted, it's not everybody's cup of tea. I feel like I understand why some people don't like it. Um, if you're used to like barbecues and stuff like that, but I think it was just such a nice experience. The food was very good. The drinks were great. The desserts were cute. I really think it's something worth trying. If you're going to be here, at least try it once. It is one of those restaurants that I would visit again, um, which is very rare because I'm usually very tough on the food that I eat here in the parks. But this is definitely worth trying a second time, um, possibly even a third. I really enjoyed it, and I hope that this little review helps you determine whether or not you're going to move forward with visiting the Rodeo Roundup. So we got a lightning lane for the uh, Toy Story Mania ride. We're going to head on over there so that we can kind of wrap up our day here in the uh, Toy Story land at Hollywood Studios. And um, yeah, we have a few minutes before our time is up, so let's head on over there. So we're here at Toy Story Mania. Let's jump into the lightning lane. We just love everything about this ride. All of the little trinkets and toys. Very nostalgic. And they have like the little cards and the pop-outs, all famous games. Almost there. We got Slinky Dog. Woo! Now we're going in. Are you ready? Okay, so we're done here at the Rodeo Roundup restaurant and we're done with the Toy Story Mania. Time for us to head out to the store. Okay, let's check out the store. There's more new merch. Look, they finally have Woody. Open it. They finally have Woody. They haven't had Woody. And you like Jesse? 
They finally have all three. Every time we've come, I've never seen Woody. Okay, let's see. Let's check out some other stuff. I spot some new merch. These lounge flies with a little Pixar ball coin purse attached to it. It's a really pretty one. That is out of hand. Look at the print, how pretty. And they have a forky brush. Look at how cute that is. Que lindo. Okay. I like that lounge fly. It's really cute. I spot Reach for the Fries. They have this cute little spirit jersey with this print sunglasses stick. It's like barbecue. Oh, the bucket hat. It, the, I, sorry. The bucket hat goes perfectly with the spirit jersey. They have this little pajama as well. The tumbler. Good find, Aloha. <laughs> Look at this tote. It's Rex. And it has um, the little um, scuba, the glasses. That's so cute. Look at these sandals for little ones. And they have the pajamas, the beach towel. They have a whole summer collection for Toy Story. This is, I love the colors. Look, and they even have the spirit jersey for kids. Oh, great find Aloha. Thank you, mom. Look at this top. I like it. It's a crochet kit. Look, you can make your own crochet aliens. There's some more alien toys. This is so cute. It's a little, a little, babe, isn't this called like snake tail or something? Get it? There's a snake in my boot. That is so cute. This is $24.99 and it has Andy's name in the bottom. And that's a snake plant or something. That is so cute. Here she talked about the bucket hat. Well, show me what the bucket hat does. You can flip it inside out because it has a little printing in the inside. Let me see. So you can flip it in and flip it back out. Great discovery, Aloha. You're always discovering. I love it. Chillin, grillin. So guys, that's a wrap here from Hollywood Studios. Again, I recommend the Roundup Rodeo restaurant very, very much. I think that you should definitely try it. It's definitely a restaurant I'll come back and visit um, maybe in a month or two. But, <laughs> but it was very, very nice lots of interaction incredible cast members i really had a good time so if you're waiting for my recommendation i say you have it try it out anyways thank you guys so much for following along i have the air on blast i'm sorry for that crazy noise but it is boiling um we had a great time thank you guys so much for following along don't forget to click like comment share and subscribe follow me on instagram at tea time with aloha and coco and i'll see you guys in our next video until then